I think there's few bands out there that put as much thought into their music and, in turn, make you think more about their music than Tool. You could pick any song in their catalog and find levels of nuance and subtlety to dissect, but at least in my mind, the song that best exemplifies the band's attention to detail and willingness to push boundaries is Lateralis. The title track of Tool's third studio album, the song walks the line between mathematical and spiritual with an intricate weave of rhythms, music, and lyrics that come together to create an astounding final product that's one of the most unique and fascinating songs ever written. Let's take a closer look. The driving theme behind Lateralis is a mathematical concept called the Fibonacci Sequence. The Fibonacci Sequence, as you may know, is a sequence in which every number after the first two is the sum of the two numbers before. The drumbeat of the song is based on the sequence, and the lyrics form a structural representation of it. Each syllable of each phrase represents the numbers in the sequence. Check out the syllabic breakdown of the first verse. The sequence climbs up to the 6th number, 7th if we include 0, and then climbs back down. Reflecting the Fibonacci sequence further, the first verse repeats itself before moving on to the next. That next verse continues the countdown of the sequence, then counts back up to a 13-syllable pre-chorus. The mathematical structure is reflected in the precision of the song as well. Listen to Danny Carey's drums, which move effortlessly through a strange progression of time signatures. The chorus of the song moves through time changes of 9-8, 8-8, and 7-8 time. These changes gave the track its original title, 9-8-7, but that's not the only significance of these numbers. 987 also happens to be the 16th number of the Fibonacci sequence. This rhythmic movement conjures up a spiral, one of the key musical and lyrical themes of the song. If you take the numbers from the Fibonacci sequence and map them across tiles, then create an arc connecting each opposite corner of the tiles, you get a Fibonacci spiral. This spiral forms an approximation of the golden spiral, which is a reflection of the golden ratio. The golden ratio is when the ratio between A plus B and A is the same as the ratio between A and B. The golden ratio appears all over nature, science, art, and design. It can be seen in everything from classical paintings to spiral galaxies, from ancient architecture to hurricane shapes. When you actually take the number of the golden ratio, you get 1.618. That number's got relevance to the song as well. Maynard James Keenan's vocals start 1 minute and 37 seconds into the song. Another way to look at that duration is 1.618 minutes. Furthermore, we can rearrange that 1 minute and 37 seconds to read 13 to 7, reflecting that 13 is the 7th number of the Fibonacci sequence. Each verse of the song also has a duration of 55 seconds. 55 is itself a Fibonacci number. The intricacies of Lateralis' mathematical constructions alone are astounding, but paired with the lyrics, they create something truly profound. The title of the song came from the concept of lateral thinking, viewing problems through a new light. In the lyrics, Tool used the mathematical concepts reflected in the music to find a fresh perspective on life and nature. The first verses show a progression of colors, reflecting the birth of an individual, a universe, or a thought. Maynard James Keenan said that he pulled these colors from aboriginal creation stories, in which they play a heavy role. These colors are also reflected in medieval alchemy, which said that the process for creating the Philosopher's Stone used four color changes, corresponding in order to the four colors that Keenan sings. As our singer is birthed in the universe, he sees the colors, sees the ways that the universe is functioning around him. In the next verse, the infinity of it all beckons to the singer, but we see him pulled away in the chorus. Almost paradoxical given the nature of the song, the chorus sings how overthinking the nature of the world will pull you away from the flow of the universe.
In the bridge, this spirituality comes into connection with the mathematics. Maynard sings that he wants to feel the rhythm. He wants to embrace the math that drives the universe and let it drive himself and his destiny. Instead of trying to control the universe around him, Maynard is realizing that he's the victim of forces larger than him, reflected as the spiral, the math driving the entire universe. In order to connect to this, one needs to be willing to let go and see where the universe will take one. Maynard says that to truly live our lives to the fullest and to tap into the divinity of the universe, we need to embrace the mechanisms driving it. That's where the song ends, riding the spiral. The spiral is the golden ratio, the Fibonacci sequence, tying human creativity to the natural world, ever expanding outwards in possibility, getting larger and larger with each number. This is why Lateralis is a true modern masterpiece. In its very music, it's intrinsically tied to the fabric of the universe. It's a reflection of concepts that existed long before it was created and will continue to exist long after humanity has fallen. It's profound and timeless.